So hello fellow banknote collectors, my name is Glenn and today I'm just going to show you some uh, Reichsmarks from Germany. These are the Weimar Republic issue and they were issued between 1924 as the state uh, says there to 1948 when they were replaced with the Deutschmark. Uh, in contrary to what some people think, this Reichsmark was not issued by the Nazis. It was issued by a democratically elected government to stop the hyperinflation that occurred in Germany, Germany between 1922 and 1924. Okay, so when they first denominated, they also issued another type of banknotes called the Rentenmark. Here is a five Rentenmark, and these were issued in uh, 1, 2, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000 Rentenmark. And they were equivalent to the Reichsmark, and they also circulated up until 1948. But this one, which is uh, the 1926 version, was uh, backed by parcels of land, uh, that were mortgaged by the German government and that's how they stabilised the currency. Uh, as you can see it has a allegorical figure of a woman with agriculture. He has uh, the Renton Banks um, mark which is uh, wheat and oh, it has a watermark, looks like a plant flower, it has wheat on the bank. So, Fünf Rentenmark, Deutsche Reichbank. No, oh, Deutsche Rentenbank. This is the Reichbank here. So, the Rentenmark actually circulated along with the um, Reichsmarks, and they also issued uh, coins in uh, Rentenfennig as well. But we'll get to that in another video. So, there are actually various uh, different um, different variations of the banknote. Like if I show this one, the watermark here is over over the tower, and on this one, the watermark is just flowers. So this is the later version, and it doesn't have the same watermark as the picture. Also, e, on German banknotes, it has a un lettering, like Indian banknotes now. On this banknote, it does not have it. And to tell another difference on the back, this has serial numbers, doesn't have it here. And the same with it up here. And also, the printing of this one is a bit different than that. So... The reverse of this has an allegorical figure of a woman with a sickle, so agriculture and wheat. And this has two children, one with fruit and the other one with uh, fish. Probably represent different uh, industries in Germany. And as I said before, has our uh, tower on the front. And it's quite a nice banknote. This is actually the best one I have. And this uh, lettering here, they also have it in B, F, G, K, P, Q, and R, and S. So I presume that will be the plate marker. But I can't find any information on that. Okay, so this one's a pretty bad banknote. Here I have the 20 race marks. Now these ones are. Well, in pretty bad condition. I have B, G, and that one I can't tell, might be A. And as you can see, the lettering doesn't correspond with the um, plate number. I'm just going to call it a plate number. And this is Werner von Siemens on it. And it has. So the first date is actually the date that they were first issued and the second date is the date that this actual banknote was issued. And the first lot of uh, Reichsmarks banknotes are actually a bit different than this. So on the back we have uh, someone with um, 
a male figure with a hammer representing industry. And we also have uh, two children with um, industrial equipment as well for manufacturing. And the watermark is like that. And as with the ten race mark, the later ones issued during the Second World War had uh, flower figures. Another thing as well, if you have a look at that, these banknotes have uh, indents of 20 and a star. And this is a good count anti-counterfeiting feature of these banknotes. Which are a lot of other countries, especially the United States, United Kingdom at the time, didn't have. So this was more advanced in security features than the UK and the US. So the next one we have is the 50 Reichsmark. This one was issued in 1933. One has an M, the other one has a D. It also has a, the, in, um, the beautiful paper as well as the coat of arms of Germany of the right uh, Weimar Republic and this one has a uh, David Hansman so uh, this one's a bit better David Hansman and this one on the reverse has a uh, mercury so mercury and it has a uh, literature for education and uh, weights for trade. So not a bad banknote. Uh, greenish colour. And the watermark as well. Beautiful watermark. And in the Second World War the watermark was actually a flower pattern like the ten roche mark. But I don't have it. And as you can see on the back the serial numbers are the same. And the same here. And the second highest one, the 100 race mark, was issued in 1935. And it has a swastika in the background, but it still has the um, German coat of arms. And it's a bit strange of why this banknote was not actually changed to reflect Nazi ideology. Hmm. Bit. So, like the coins they actually changed. This one is Justin von Liebig. So Liebig. And has him in the watermark. Beautiful. Same security features as the other ones. As you can see, there's no security thread in these. And if I turn it over, there's a woman with a, a flame and two female figures seated on either side. Beautiful. Now there is also a one first from Reichmark. Obviously it's bigger because these uh, increase in value with uh, in size with value and that one's well a bit more expensive. Actually it's quite expensive actually. So the lowest banknote was the 10 Reichmark and during the Second World War they actually used these the, the 1, 2 and 5 rent to mark in replace for the coins so they didn't actually issue the one and two race mark to replace these but they did issue a five race mark in uh, 1942 and the 20 race mark was actually replaced in 1939 for a Nazi issue also another thing this banknote here it's a, oh, what do they call it? Uh, race credit coffin, that's it, down there. These were issued by the German government for use in uh, Russia, excluding the Ukraine and uh, the Baltic states, so like via Lithuania and Estonia. These ones were not issued for Germany itself. And these come in uh, 50 Reich Fennigs, 1, 2, 5, 10, no, not 10, 5, 20, and 50 Reich Marks. So, uh, some people think that these were issued in Germany itself. No, they weren't. This has Brandenburg Gate on it. 
That's it. No, it's not Brandenburg Gate. Uh, can't remember where that place is. Uh, I'll do another video on these anyway. So, hope that clears that up. So, beautiful, beautiful German banknotes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And these ones you can get quite easily on eBay. Uh, the values vary depending on the condition and the time you buy. And um, yeah, the country you buy. So in Germany, they're probably a lot easier to get than any other countries. But I quite like them. I'm going to get the 1000 Reich mark sooner or later. But there's not that many to buy. So, thank you very much for watching. And have an awesome bank night collecting time, people. Bye-bye.